oxygenation plus six minutes. Pulse is 45. Respiration 10. Looking good, Cole. Sliding into unconsciousness, I could somehow, I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister, almost lost me. Zeke was always there, 
somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft, rapes, civilization committing suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city, and we were stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. You gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it, master it. Just hope it's not too late. I thought you were going to watch TV. Ah, uh, batteries are dead again. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. I'm glad it's good for something. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. All the good shows. those dummies over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you're packing. Stunt. That isn't gonna stop you from digging out, though, is it? Hell no, it ain't. Zeke's gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. Oh, man, you get to have all the fun.
What are you waiting for? Do it! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, that was one hell of a jump, man. Wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. Yeah, that sucks donkey balls. Hey, Cole, before we head over to Archer, I need to go pick up a new six-shooter. Oh, here we go. Nah, that was badass. The second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> look on your face was priceless. Damn near blew my hand off. Which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> Traded this guy one of my homemade batteries for it. The ones that explode when you use them? Hell, he doesn't know that. Come on! Told me he was gonna leave the gun in the parking lot a few blocks from here. Hey, Cole. You know what I miss? Pizza. Big sloppy slice. Dripping with grease and pepperoni. And payday. Having a big fat wad. Bills in your pocket. Yeah, I'd settle for some hot water. Hey, remember that time we were coming home from Duffy's and I had to take a leak? And that bike cop was yelling at me to put up my hands? <laughs> you pissed all over him. Hey, he told me to put up my hands. While he's fumbling around, I jump back in and we take off. <laughs> awesome! Yeah, awesome. Until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome! <laughs> ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. Ah, oh, come on! He told me he was gonna leave it under a car. I figured there'd be only one. I'll never find it. Stand back. I got an idea. something like that. Yeah, me neither. There was the surge. Hey, man, you don't look so hot. Trained all of a sudden. Hang on a sec. Did you see that? 
man, you're a walking battery. You must have to recharge whenever you fire off a bunch of juice. I can feel the electricity surging through me. Almost like I'm being healed by it. Oh, this rock's so hard. Come on, let's haul tail over to Archer Square before someone takes all the brewskis. Cole, you there? Hey, babe. You hear they dropped some food? Yeah, Zeke and me are heading over there. How are you feeling? All right, I guess. Powers are all over the place. It used to be I could barely power a light bulb. Now I'm jumping off of buildings, frying the junk on Zeke's roof. You jumped off a building. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I, I couldn't... Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. You too. Stuck up there. I hate to say it, pal, but uh, hey, you're the only guy here who'd live from a fall like that. You gotta climb up there and knock that stuff free. Sight. The Reapers. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now, they own the Neon District. Taking whatever they want. That changes today.
Let's eat. <laughs> 